Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Bean here with science and this week we are talking about magnets. So before we begin, if you could uh, go around your house and look for a magnet, a decent size, maybe one on the fridge you already have, or mom and dad might know of another place um, in the shop or somewhere else where you might have a magnet. We're gonna use this at the end of this video for a little experiment. Okay, so a couple things um, that you're wondering is what is a magnet? Why do things stick to it? What is inside of it? And what does it have to do with electricity? These are things that we're gonna ask today, okay? So let's have fun learning about magnets. Here we go. So what are magnets? A magnet is a piece of metal that can pull some other types of metal towards it. It happens because of the way atoms are arranged inside the metal. Magnetic forces are strongest at two ends of a magnet. These ends are called the North Pole and the South Pole. And if you try to put two magnet poles together, they will either stick to each other or push each other away. A North Pole and a South Pole always pull towards each other. This is called a magnetic attraction. Two poles of the same type always push, push each other away. And that's called magnetic repulsion. Um, the area of force around a magnet is called its magnetic field, and our planet is magnetic and has its own magnetic field. It pulls compass needles so that they always point north. Like all magnets, the Earth has magnetic north and south poles, and they are near the north pole and the south pole. All right, so let's do a little experiment. Right, kiddos, so you need a magnet for this experiment and some things that you have around the house. Maybe you could um, check out your piggy bank for a penny, a nickel, dime, aluminum foil, paper clip. I've got a screw here, a tack, chalk, and a pencil. Now you can grab, try to grab these metal items, but whatever else you grab, you could grab a piece of cloth, a rubber band, just some things that you think might be attracted to a magnet, okay? So we're gonna be a scientist and we're gonna make a hypothesis. We're gonna write two questions, we're gonna make a guess. What will the magnet attract? And I want you with a pen or pencil to write down some things you think before you try the experiment that will be attracted to the magnet. And then, after, um, then what you think the magnet will not be attracted to. So we're gonna write those things down. All right, so go ahead and do that right now and you can pause the video. All right, after you have guessed, we're gonna actually conduct the experiment. So I'm gonna take my magnet here and I'm gonna try out the pencil. And it is not attracted to the magnet. Nope, doesn't work. All right, chalk. Does the chalk, is it attracted? Nope, the chalk is not working either. Okay, this nickel's gotta work, right? You think? Nope, that is not working. All right, let's try the safety pin. What? Those two are attracted to each other, huh? Look at that. All right, what about the paper clip? Yes or no? Yep. The paper clip. What did you say for the foil? Yes or no? That is a no. All right. What do you think about the dime? Nope. So if the dime and the nickel aren't working, do you think the penny's going to work? No. They are not working, my friend. All right. We have two left. Let's try. Ooh this metal screw here. They are magnetically attracted to each other, huh? And then we have this little pin. And those are attracted to each other as well. All right, if you have some more items in your house and you wanna make a guess with maybe brother, sister, mom, or dad to see what you think will be attracted or what will not, um, that might be fun to do. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Have a great week.